Welcome back to Permissive Channel. In this video, we will walk you through the setup process for Pro M100 Pro Solar Charge Controller. This guide also applies to the Pro 80 Pro model. When you turn on the controller, the LCD screen will light up and display the main interface, showing the PV input voltage and the current battery voltage. By pressing the PV button briefly, you can toggle through the PV rated information and the system status, such as PV input power operating mode or error code, and the PV input voltage. The operating mode codes indicate the current charging status. 3.0 means the battery is not charging. 4.0 indicates fast charging mode. 7.0 shows push charging mode. 8.0 represents the flow charging mode. Now let's look at the battery-related information. Use the up and down key to navigate throughout the display which includes current battery voltage, current charging current, device temperature, calibrated battery voltage, power communication code, battery type, boost charging voltage, flow charging voltage, MPP tracking return voltage, Let's simulate configuring the battery charging parameters for a single controller. First, measure the battery voltage using a multimeter. If the detected battery voltage differs from the voltage displayed it on the controller, you can use the battery voltage calibration feature to adjust it. In single controller operation, there is no need to configure the power communication code. Next, select the battery type. The controller supports 13 common battery type with pre-configured charging parameters, as well as a custom option. This concludes cell latency batteries, GL latency batteries, fluid latency batteries, 4 series lithium iron phosphate batteries, 7 series lithium iron phosphate batteries, a series lithium iron phosphate batteries, 15 series lithium iron phosphate batteries, 16 series lithium iron phosphate batteries, 3 series turn lithium batteries, 6 series turn lithium batteries, 7 series turn lithium batteries, 13 series turn lithium batteries, 14 series turn lithium batteries and the user defined option. If your battery is one of the certain supported types, simply select it and the controller will automatically use the preset charging parameters. For custom settings, choose USD and proceed to set system voltage, boost charging voltage, flow charging voltage, and the return charging voltage. Note that the displayed voltage values are based on the 12 volt system. If your battery system operates at 24 volt, multiply the values by 2. For 48 volt systems, multiply them by 4. For power operation with multiple controllers, assign a communication code to each controller, then configure the charging parameters on the master unit with the lowest code. That's it for the setup guide for the Pro M100 Pro and Pro M80 Pro solar charge controllers. We hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.